Calvary, it's your girl Naisha Nicole back again with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can be office ready, interview ready, professional setting ready, and still have a beat face. Just because you're in corporate America or you're going on an interview or what have you doesn't mean that you can't have a nice beat down on your face. But you don't want to be too loud with the colors, you don't want to have too much, you don't want to be cakey. So I'm just going to do a talk through of the products that I'm using. I'm also going to leave links down below. So make sure you check those out in the description box. Also, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button if this is your first time at Time to Queen because you know you want to be a part of the Calvary. So go ahead, click the subscribe button. Also, make sure you click the bell so that you don't miss any time that I upload more awesome videos. I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into this look. I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm going to start with my sunscreen, of course, just like every single day. Sunscreen is key. Next, I'm going to apply my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I'm loving this primer, you guys. I've only been using it for two weeks, but I really love it. It's very hydrating. I wouldn't recommend it if you have oily skin, but if you don't, really pressing it into your face helps to minimize the visibility of those large pores if you have them like I do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX HG Finishing Powder to take some of the oil out of my brows. Go ahead after you finish watching this video and jump over to my eyebrow tutorial so you can see exactly why I do this and how it turns out. I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the eyebrows since I do have a video on it. You can get the whole look sis. You don't have to watch this part too hard. But I am gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Stick in the color Ebony to fill my brows in. There it is right there. And I'm going to go ahead and speed through this part. You get it. Go watch the video. Now I'm just brushing the finishing powder away. Okay, now the fun begins. I'm going to apply my Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This foundation in the color 185. I don't know why we always tell you guys what color we're using like you're gonna use the color that you use I'm gonna use the color that I use but I'm using color 185 today in case you were wondering Next, I'm going to use my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer Combo in one. I don't even remember what color it is. Um, it was blurry and I didn't see it. But wait, hold up. First, let me add some more to these brows. I'm going to use my Benefit Brow Brow Styler in the color number 5. And I'm going to be using the powder side just to add just a little bit more depth to my brows because I like for them to be full. Not too, too full so that they look drawn on like highlighter eyebrows. Don't like those. But just a little bit more. Then I'm going to take my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And I am going to sculpt out my brows a little bit more. Again, if you hop over to my eyebrow tutorial, you can see the full version of this. But I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Okay, pause for the calls. Breakfast of champs. Can't forget that energy on that interview, huh? Okay, so I figured out the color is golden, but I'm using that same Clinique Beyond Perfecting underneath my eyes to highlight. Once I get that all blended out, I'm going to go back with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I tried to find the color, but y'all, I've had this so long. The color is gone, honey. It's gone. But I'm going to also use that under my eyes to highlight just a little bit more. This color is like a shade or two lighter than the Clinique. Not much, but I do want a little bit more highlight down the bridge of my nose, under my eyes, my chin, and Cupid's bow. Then I'm going to use a darker color in my LA Girl Pro Concealer 
to do my contouring on my cheeks and my forehead and my nose. You guys know I'm not big on contouring, but I've started doing it more lately and I like it. And I'm gonna just go ahead and blend all that out. Blend it out. Blending, blending. Okay, I'm gonna stop. But you get the point, blend it out. Next, we gotta set all of this because we don't wanna sweat it away. I'm gonna use my Lock It Translucent Powder from Kat Von D to set underneath my eyes and down the bridge of my nose and my chin because that's where I tend to get a little shiny throughout the day. And you don't wanna be sitting in an interview glowing and stuff, sis. That's not cute. So we're gonna go ahead and lock this in place. Now I'm gonna use my NYX Wonder Stick. It's a contour stick with dual ends, a light side and a dark side for contouring. But I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow base primer. Now I'm just going to blend that out with a sponge. Never set your eyeshadow primer, guys. No, no. I'm gonna be using my Jackie, 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 Jackie. Jackie Aina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills for this look. Gonna start with the color Ginger, and I'm going to press that in over my entire eyelid to start with. I am not swooping this or brushing this, whatever you wanna call it. I am literally pressing it into my eyelid until I get my entire eyelid covered and then I will blend it in. Next, I'm going to use the color Credit from the same palette. I'll just go ahead and let you know, I'm only using one palette for this look. I'm using the color Credit and I'm gonna put that in to the crease of my eye and then the outer V. So it's gonna create this nice, deep, rich brown color right at the V of my eye and really set my eyes in. Once I get that blended, I'm going to take the color Edges and I'm going to put that right on my brow bone right on top of that credit color and I'm gonna blend that out throughout the crease so that it does brighten that up a little bit but not too, too much, just something subtle. So then I'm gonna go back to credit and deepen that crease out a little bit more. So I really just wanted that color edges to give me a nice little pop Give me some bossness in there, you know? But then I wanted to really define that crease again with the color credit. Now I'm gonna go back to my color ginger where we originally started and I'm gonna bring that back to the forefront. No cut crease, you guys, no cut crease today. I'm just gonna bring that back to the forefront and bring some more color to my eyelid. So just blending that out very well, but no cut crease. And we're almost at the end. I'm gonna use my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara to cover my eyebrows and make sure that those are set in place for the day. And then I'm gonna brush away all of the translucent powder from under my eyes and bridge of my nose and everywhere. Just a brush, 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 sweep, sweep, sweep. Then y'all know what time it is. My Morphe continuous setting mist this is the new mattifying mist this is my first time trying it love it then to pull this whole look together i'm going to use my ruby kisses face powder in the color chestnut here i go again with the colors y'all don't care what color it is i'm using my ruby kisses face powder to set my whole face i'm gonna stop saying these colors one day Now, sis, you don't want to overdo this part. I'm going to use my Kiss Glow and Bronze Powder in the color Medium. Again, don't overdo this part for this look. We're just going to lightly brighten up where the light would naturally hit our face. 
This is not a glow party. It's an interview. It's work. Lights me. Now, I'm going to use some blush. I don't know what brand it is, but I'm going to use this peach color. If you have warm tone skin, I recommend peach colors for this type of look or warm tone colors for this type of look. You can't even really tell I got on blush. Next, I'm going to line my eyes with my Kaja eyeliner. It's a liquid felt tip eyeliner. No wings. Again, this is interview. This is work. There are no wings in corporate America. Only Red Bull gives you wings, not your eyeliner, sis. So I'm just literally lining my top lash. And I'm using a matte eyeliner for this because shiny eyeliner just ain't cute, regardless of what the look is for. And then I'm just going to use a regular beauty supply store cold pencil to line my bottom waterline. Not too thick. I'm not, again, going for a cat eye or anything like that. Just literally lining my bottom line. A thin line. Then I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to use my Lancome Monsier Big Mascara. And this is just regular black mascara. And I am going to apply that. Now one thing I do, because I don't wear falsies to work or interviews or anything like that. I will rub the brush over the very tip of my eyelashes and I'll just brush that back and forth to spread my eyelashes out and to remove any clumps because I find that sometimes mascara can get a little clumpy but again I don't wear falsies to work so I need something and this is it. And then again with the Morphe setting spray. Now it's time for a good lip i'm going to line with some type of brown lipstick i don't know i think i paid a dollar for it so yeah that's that on that and then i'm going to use my l'oreal paris lip stain i got this for free and it doesn't have a label on it i think it was in an influencer box so i think the color is i rule but i don't know what season it is but i like it i use it frequently so I'm going to use that and then I'm going to go in with my NYX Matte Soft Matte Cream in the color Athens and I'm going to apply that to my inner lip and spread that all the way outward starting from the inside of my lip working my way out. Alright Calvary, so there you have it, your Corporate America interview, professional setting, all around work ready makeup very quick very easy no cut crease um, just a very simple look I guess this really could be considered a soft glam but you know if I'm gonna do some soft glam I still want a little bit of shimmer somewhere but I really think this is more so professional makeup um, workplace ready makeup I look like I'm getting ready to go get this job get ready to get that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it still give it a thumbs up and I thank you um but yes make sure you leave me a comment down below if you like this look if you like this type of content make sure you leave me a content down up uh, yeah if you like this type of content Please make sure you leave me a comment down below letting me know what the next look is that you like to see. Um, also, make sure you share this video with everybody you know. Your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your uncle, your cousin, your baby daddy, your baby daddy, auntie, everybody. Make sure you share this video, like it, leave me a comment. And if you have not already subscribed, guess what? You made it to the end of the video, so you liked it. So go ahead and subscribe. Click that subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell also so that you don't miss any time that I upload more awesome content. But until next time, it's time to clean y'all.